What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the F1 Ultimate Career. We are here in Bahrain today for round number four of the 2013 season and we're looking to uh, bounce back from some disappointment last time out in China but uh, yeah hopefully we can uh, have better things today and have a little less tire wear but without further ado now let's get into it. So, as I previously mentioned, we were in Shanghai last time out for the Chinese Grand Prix. And as you can see on your screens now, it was won by Sergio Perez and uh, after Fernando Alonso took pole position. But, yeah, it was really, really disappointing for us. We only managed 10th place in that and our teammate was also out of the points. As you can see on the right-hand side, the driver's and constructor's standings are there. And we lie outside both the driver's and constructor's standings, which is incredibly disappointing. So it is currently Fernando Alonso leading the way from Felipe Massa, with uh, Lewis Hamilton not too far behind in the ever-improving Mercedes, who lie in third in the constructor's. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's Ferrari who are the ones to beat at the moment by the looks of things. And we're just uh, going to be looking to get back into the top five of both drivers and constructors but today as you can see we are at the Sakia circuit in Bahrain. Lewis Hamilton was the race winner last year after Mark Webber took pole and uh, we, you know we just narrowly missed out on pole last year but we couldn't even get onto the podium so it was a disappointing race uh, in 2012 so we're looking to improve on that and get our first podium of the year I believe uh, yeah I don't believe we've got one as of yet you guys can correct me down below but uh, yeah Mercedes are once again struggling with tyre wear so uh, you know it it's hoping to be a two-stop uh, this race for uh, for all the teams, but, you know, it is pretty much borderline. Uh, Red Bull are the, pretty much the only big team to have brought an upgrade. They trialled a new front wing in practice, which they're thought to be uh, to be debuting in the race. And uh, But it is Ferrari who are looking the strongest on the long run pace, so it'll be interesting to see where they line up during the race. And ourselves, we're looking a little bit better than China in practice, but let's see what it can transfer to for qualifying. The desert sun then was shining down on the drivers for today's qualifying session. And I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach to the qualifying report in this episode. So, yeah, I'm just literally going to run you through my final qualifying lap. It really was a hectic one, and I thought this was really the only way to capture it. So, as you can see, we're currently sitting in P9. Not the best of, uh, of positions at the moment. It's currently Felipe Massa on pole. But as we go now into Turn 1, we uh, just about clip that inside of that corner and Turn 2 before running a little bit wide through Turn 3. But you can see we just ticked down onto one lap of fuel so we're gonna have to be careful of that my aim for this session really was just to try and get into the top five and we really do clip the inside there maybe not quite taking enough speed as we come towards the end of sector one we are currently two tenths up on our previous best time and just under two tenths down on Felipe Massa at this point so we're looking reasonably good seeing as sector one was not our strongest sector but uh, now this is where it counts into this little double left hander trying not to lock the inside and we managed to do so and uh, well prevent the lock up at least as we go on to the DRS now using quite a bit of our curves we've only got about a third of a bar remaining as we come towards the final part of the circuit now down the back straight and breaking uh, just a little bit wide there we try not to uh, to clip the outside curb because it can throw you off if you're not not careful and coming through the sweeping right hander to end sector two on the curbs there and you again you've got to be careful because uh, if you stay on them for too long then uh, you will have a lockup but then there you can see Sergio Perez takes pole position we are currently at just over a tenth down on his best time sorry on the best time in the session which is his Nico Rosberg goes down into P9 and that, uh, that knocks us down into P10 and we now come across the line what is it gonna be and it is fourth place can't complain at that too much but just look at the gap between Perez and Alonso just one th one one thousandth of a second in it so Massa knocked all the way down to P3 in the process Button is in P5 so we're very much in the mix of the Mercedes sorry McLaren and their uh, Ferrari drivers but the question is now what can we do during the race <laughs> So here we go then, out onto the grid for the race. As you heard in the qualifying report there, we managed to get 
P4 on the grid. So, uh, yeah, going out to the grid, we're going to try and go make a two-stopper work today. So, we're starting on the medium tyres. It's the medium and hards available. And, uh, yeah, we're hopefully going to go two uh, option stints and one prime stint, but we'll have to see. There you can see Sergio Perez on pole position. We are in P4, and our teammate could only manage P15, but now we are out onto the grid. And let's see what we can do as we rev up to the five red lights for round number four of the 2013 season. And we are away. And, uh, oh, it's a decent-ish start. We are making ground on Massa and Alonso. But we bogged down in the second phase of the start. And it looks as if Mark Webb is going to pass us on the inside. And Jensen Button on the outside. Also a Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton trying to look as he rides over the curbs. But we do manage to just about get past him and Jensen Button. By the looks of it, we've recovered a pretty poor start. And now we're going to try and take a look at Weber and Alonso into turn four. We're going to go to the inside, I think. Yes, we are. And it's, it's going to be three wide going into turn four, but we managed to come off best, at least of ourselves and Alonso. And Button has taken advantage of Alonso's poor run through there. And we take advantage of Weber going slowly, go down the inside and into a podium position. And after a poor getaway, we have managed to make this first lap not a disaster, as you can see the tail getting out there. And Alonso loses another position that time to Kimi Raikkonen, I believe, and uh, yeah, we don't manage to lock up going into that turn, and our aim for this uh, this phase of the race was just to try and keep up with Felipe Massa, and as you can see, we're about 1.2 behind him, but Jensen Button was closing in on us at this time of the race, at this period of the race at least, but uh, yeah, skipping now onto lap 5, and you can see Mark Webber is the driver behind us, so they really were scrapping, him, Alonso, and Button were scrapping, but we are scrapping with our rear end at that time as we end lap 5, they're going to have DRS on us, and it uh, looks as if we're going to try and squeeze Mark Webber, but it isn't enough, he glides past us into P4, sorry, into P3, we go down into P4, Alonso also having a look, so it is Bear Button this time who has dropped way back, and uh, I believe Sebastian Vettel, and now Kimi Raikkonen is trying to get past him, as you could see in the background, but we are just going to stick into P4. And, uh, you know, just try and capitalise on any mistake that uh, Mark Webber makes. But it looks as if it's us that's more likely to be making the mistakes. You can see on the tyre gauge, we're already struggling for tyre wear. Something which we thought we'd solved a couple of rounds ago. And now uh, it's uh, Fernando Alonso going down the inside of us. But we stand our ground, take the racing line. And as he gets his DRS, we're going to use as much curves as possible as it's, as it's going to take to retain this P4. He's going to have the inside, which is not the optimal line. So that means we managed to just about squeeze him out and hold our P4 for the meantime, but we really, really were struggling at this stage of the race. It wasn't looking as if we, we were going to get be getting much overtaking done, and Alonso just gets past us on the DRS. We are completely helpless to it, and now Sebastian Vettel fancies a go at us. It is all going on in at the end of this first stint as Mark Webber sets the fastest lap of the race. Now he's in some clean air, but uh, later on on lap 7, you can see that Alonso just got a little bit too greedy by the looks of things on the mini-map, and he went off the circuit allowing us to pick back our P4. So, uh, yeah, pretty hectic first stint, it has to be said. And uh, although we were scheduled to come in on lap 8... We thought, you know what, this is doing us no good. We're losing so much ground. Uh, an extra lap on the uh, the prime tyres isn't going to do us any harm. Because the, the thing is, these prime tyres, they just seem to be able to hold on for a long time. Whereas uh, the options are found that, you know, as soon as you were doing five or six laps on them, all of a sudden, bang, you know, they just go off the cliff. So, yeah, we're going to try out these uh, prime tyres and hope, it, the you know, the, the case for the race was the same as what happened in practice. And, um, you know, we've got to rely on that as our teammate goes past us. And we are down into P16. So, I believe Sebastian Vettel actually pick quite early because he is now behind us and we just completely overshoot the first turn on the cold tyres, completely underestimating it. And uh, now we slot into P16, but hopefully we will make up some positions. And sure enough, we do. Our teammate is one of those in the pits, including Nico Rosberg as well uh, at this stage of the race. And uh, on to lap nine now. And, you know, we're just trying to get through the field as quick as possible, not just relying on people pitting. So we're going to try and make a move down the inside of Daniel Ricciardo. This could be a bit of a risky one, but we get the inside line. That is a beautiful move down the inside. No contact whatsoever. Fair play to Ricardo. He gave me the room on the inside, but that is what you call racing. Brilliant stuff from ourselves, if I do say so myself. And look at the amount of cars in the pit lane in the bottom left corner. Now you can see them. And as we go into turn one, there is an absolute cluster of cars. One of them being a McLaren of Jensen Button and Esteban Gutierrez, who is still out on his first stint, has held him up. We say thank you very much. Esteban, get past Button, 
get past Gutierrez, and that brings us up into P6. I believe a net P5. Unfortunately, Alonso has got back past us, but that really is no surprise, seeing as our pace uh, was a little bit limited, it has to be said. So, yeah, Roman Grosjean now comes into the pit lane. And that allows us to overtake him back into P5, which is pretty much where we belong. P, uh, sorry, lap 14 now. We're down to 21 runners in the Grand Prix. So uh, I believe someone at the, um, you know, further back in the grid has... Uh, has DNF'd at this stage of the race as Fernando Alonso sets the fastest lap of the race but it, all the action is behind us and it is Jensen Button trying to go down the inside at this stage. Is he going to make it stick? He just about does and there's contact between ourselves and Kimi Raikkonen who's now lost a position to uh, Lewis Hamilton. So Button gets past us. We are down into P6 now and we just don't seem to have the pace at this stage of the race. Are we going to go down the inside of Button? Yes we do. Br brilliant little dive up the inside. No contact whatsoever but we get a lot of marbles on our tyres and sure enough Button gets through. Hamilton also takes a look but we just about cover him on the inside of this uh, the S section in the middle of the circuit and uh, yeah with lap 15 we're thinking you know what it's the middle of the race. I haven't even got that bad a tyre wear and I'm still I just still haven't got the pace but uh, as you can see in the top left we're down into down to 20 runners now and there it is Sergio Perez the race leader his DNF the pole sitter the race leader the man that has been so unlucky so far this season he could be leading the driver's standings you know if he'd have just had half the luck that he has had but um you know that is just how it how the cookie crumbles and uh we are up into p5 i'm not complaining you know that gives me an extra couple of points at this stage of the race but uh yeah Lap 20, and it's time to get rid of these tyres. Thank God. You can see on the tyre gauge how worn they are. And for some reason, I thought, you know what? I can do nine laps on these option tyres. So, you know, I, I was bold. I thought, if we're going to have any chance of holding any sort of decent position in this race, we're going to have to go for the option tyres. So, uh, the thing was, like, I could do nine laps when I was in practice. It was just, you know, that very first stint. I don't know what it was. I think I did an extra lap in qualifying, which probably didn't help. But, uh, yeah, we started in just behind our teammate, and uh, that now becomes P8. You know, the the, the order is still a little bit, uh, sh you know, shuffled up, and uh, our teammate does come into the pit lane. There's another couple of cars ahead, one of which is Lewis Hamilton. I'm not quite sure who the other one is, and it is Roman Grosjean, in fact, but we do manage to clear both of them, and we are up into P5. Sorry, no, it's Sebastian Vettel, and I believe there may have been a few of them in the pit lane at that time. But uh, lap 25 now, and there's 19 runners, and that means another DNF. You know, th this this circuit, Bahrain, is notoriously difficult on the engines, but it is Felipe Massa the, with the Ferrari engine, which is, it's been so reliable, you know, this season and in previous seasons, and it has given up the ghost. So we take P4, and to be honest, this final stint, there just wasn't really much going on. So Mark Webber takes the victory, and it is now lap 29, and yeah, Button was about five seconds ahead. We pretty much kept an equal gap. We were uh, sort of closing up to some bat markers, you know, just being careful that we didn't crash into them. But we come across the line for 12 points, our joint best result of the season, and we will take that. Although it wasn't quite the podium that we were hoping for, you know, seeing as we didn't really have the pace in this race, you know, P4, I cannot complain at that whatsoever. Beating a lot of better cars on our own. So, yeah, it was Mark Webber, Fernando Alonso, and Jensen Button on the podium. So, three different uh, constructors on the podium. And uh, four different constructors in the first four places. So, our teammate just missed out on a point behind Nico Rosberg in P11. But uh, there you can see the bottom half of the order. It was Deresta, Perez and Massa that didn't finish the race. So unfortunate for those three. There you can see the driver's standings on your screen. So it is uh, Fernando Alonso currently leading the way uh, still. But this time it is Mott Webber who jumps up. And Felipe Massa has just had an awful race. He was second before the start of the race. And he's gone all the way down to seventh. We have jumped up back into the top five. So, uh, yeah, we can't really complain about that. But uh, Ferrari still leading the constructor standings. And we are still there in sixth place. Sandberg yet to get off the mark, which is disappointing. But next time, guys, we'll be at the Circuit de Catalunya for the fifth round of the 2013 season. Make sure you guys join me then. It should be an interesting one. And, uh, yeah, leave a like if you've enjoyed today's video. Comment down below your thoughts on the series so far. Maybe, uh, you know, suggestions on the qualifying format. But, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.